Hey y'all, Coach and the Fight here, looking in the book of Daniel. Now on our channel, we've been putting out a lot of classes related to the opening of the Third Temple. You can see classes that we've done on the timing of the opening of the Third Temple and how Daniel chapter 12 tells us that it will be in the years 2020 or the years 2021. I believe it to be 2020, but you can see a class that we did on that. And you can see other classes that we've done on um, what the temple will be like and, and such. But um, we had one viewer that asked the question, well, what will happen when this temple is opened? What will happen in this uh, day when all of these things you know, take place? What, what will we notice? How will we notice? To answer that question, I'm going to look in several books, um, the Third Testament of the Bible, I'm going to look at the Book of Hermas, but I'm not going to do them all in one, in one video. Um, um, I'm tending to try to make shorter videos these days, and so I may just look in one book at a time. And today I want to look in the Book of Daniel, talking about um, when that... Um, when that third temple will be open and what can we expect in it. Looking in uh, chapter 12 of the book of Daniel, you see verse 1, it says, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered everyone that should be found written in the book. Now, if this is the first time you've seen one of um, our classes over here in uh, Hermes Academy, um, we are a Bible-based channel. We spend a lot of time, you know, looking at the verses and um, when we do our classes. And so, um, like we're doing now, we'll read the verse and then we'll just go back in and try to break some of this stuff down. So let's just do that. See right there where it says, at that time shall Michael stand up. Now, I don't want to assume that everybody knows who Michael is. Michael is one of the archangels. Some believe that he is the top archangels, um, the top of the archangels. There's some who actually believe that he is the Messiah. I can't say I agree with those people. I think they're like the Jehovah Witnesses believe that Michael and the Messiah are one. Um, and the reason but I could understand why they could get that idea because Michael is the lawgiver and he's also the one who protects those who keeps the law. And so that's why you'll see in this time um, that Michael will stand up. Um, he's going to be the protector of it. See where it says there that great prince was standing for the children of thy people. Because as we see right here, what does it say? Um, there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And so in this tribulous time when, you know, all of this stuff is going on, it is that time that we expect Michael to stand up for those who keep the law. Michael will stand up to fight for for the law for for the for the law abiding citizens you you have to remember that the the people who keep the law are taught to be humble they're taught to be meek and you know there's not a lot of fight in a person that is meek a person that is meek you know he, he's the person that's going to turn the other cheek you know you walk up to him and smack him on one side he's told to turn around and let you smack him on the other side okay well when the world is starting to go crazy what's going to happen to these people are they just going to be the first ones to get ran over by the, the people who you know who aren't so meek who like to fight well if it were not for this Michael standing up for these people, that it would be exactly what happens. And so Michael stands forth to be the fighter for these people that keep the law. And he says right there, he says, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Okay, now one thing I want to point out about the Bible is you see where it says at that time.
when it says at that time, it's talking about the end time. It's talking about the tribulation time. It says that often um, in the book of Daniel and other places talking about that time. That time he's talking about is this time that we some refer to as Jacob's trouble or the tribulation period. And it is after Michael stands up that uh, the people will be delivered where you see them now they're being humiliated they're they're um, being humbled they're they're being persecuted um, these people are being tried and they're going through a lot of troubles we did a lot of videos on how you know these these people have to suffer great pains and different stuff that's going on well they the, the, the the unique thing about how the father laid out his plan, how the eschatology of all of this, is those people suffer first. While everybody else is partying and playing and riding around on cruise ships and enjoying life, the father's people are suffering. They're, they're being humbled. They're being humiliated. They're being tried. They're, they're being persecuted. But during the time that the temple is opened, now they are delivered. That's when they get delivered. And so one of the things we can expect is a flip for, for people who spent much time in the church. We, you've heard them. You've heard people say how um, we will become the head and not the tail. Well, it is at this time during this period that the father's people are the tail. They are the ones who who are. Uh, being trodden under feet, but when this temple opens up, what well, I believe, like I said, later this year, um, you will see this flip where the Father's people will be delivered and will be exalted, and those people who have been exalted up until now will be debased. They're going to find themselves in a bad position. They're going to become the tail while we become the head and it says right here where it says everyone that shall be found written in the book of life and so those individuals who are working to have their names written in the book of life and by doing they, they're doing so by you know being obedient to the scripture by having charity for one another by basically doing what the Bible tells them to do they're getting their name written in the book of life or making sure their name is not erased from the book of life it is these people that Michael was going to stand up for and you know like we said in this in this video we're talking about you know that third temple it is when this third temple when this this when humanity goes through this change when we go through this change that we're gonna that we're going to um, see this take place and like I said I'm gonna jump over in the other books and you know so hit the subscribe button so you can see those classes when they come out we're gonna touch on Thessalonians uh, we're gonna touch on um, Corinthians how it talks about the change that we will go through and um and we'll explain how not all of everybody is going to experience this change that's going to take place in the first part now eventually what first corinthians is talking about is how um there's going to be a time when all of humanity is going to experience a change that's going to come a little bit later um some believe uh, that is going to be centered around the great global earthquake that's going to cause you know all of humanity to witness this global change um, but um, you remember over in Revelations how the temple is trodden under feet for three and a half years well what that's talking about is how um, even though all of humanity will witness a change later on um, they, that change will be available to uh, to us for three and a half years. It's just that most of us aren't going to experience it. Most of us are going to be too caught up in materialism, too uh, inundated by the ways of the world, to where we're, we're even though we're going to notice something's going on. That's what's going to cause this great trouble. Um, we're not going to. Um, be able to uh, recognize that it is, you know, 
this great change that that's talked about over there in Thessalonians. But you know, I, like I said, I'll talk about that when we get to that part. Let's just let's just concentrate on Daniel in this class here. Okay, so now let's go on to verse two. It says, "And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt." Okay, now this is something significant that will happen to many of us during this time period. You have to remember that we are reincarnated spirits. You know, we have a spirit that dwells inside of us. This spirit has lived on earth several times. It has been reincarnated into several bodies throughout history to help us to learn the law. The, the beauty of the Father's plan is that he didn't put everything that we were supposed to learn in one lifetime. He gave us several lifetimes in order to learn everything that we were supposed to know. And so some of us has have, have had to come down here over and over and over again. But we also learn that we do not remember those previous lifetimes at all. There's no way we can we can remember who we were. Um, in a in a in a past lifetime, until we get to the seventh seal, until we get to the third era, is when the spirit world descends upon man, and then all of a sudden we can remember our past lifetimes. I can't remember which one of the hidden books or the apocryphal books or what book it was that I read, but it talked about how. During this time, you know, after we experience this change, there will be people who will walk up to a grave site and point at a headstone and say, that was me. And so this is what Daniel's talking about when he says, and many that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. This is talking about how we are going to come in contact with our spirit man that dwells in us already he's already there it's just that there is a disconnect between our who we are spiritually and who we are physically most of us you know we, we don't even know that there is a spirit in there at all you know even ones who are attuned to the scripture believe that there's a Holy Spirit in there. But when you say, well, you have your own spirit in there, they, they, don't, even, they don't even know that that to, to be the truth. But at this time, humanity, at least those who, who, who go first, because we, we read in here how there's, there's some who will change early during this period that we're talking about here. And then the rest of humanity will come, you know, uh, three and a half years later after, you know, they've suffered and gone through the trials and the tribulations and, and stuff. The, then they, too, will be awakened. It's like their spirit man will be awakened. And um, I, I think I, anyway, I was going to talk to you about um, something I experienced that makes me think I understand what's going on here. But um, I'll just give you a link to that video I put up on it. It was kind of a vision thing I saw. Um, but I'll say that it was a while back. I'll let you let you see it by way of a video but anyway when this happens when this awakening this great awakening happens what does it say here some uh, will rise to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt so so I could imagine this being that okay you have these individuals who have been in pursuit of righteousness all of their life awakening and realizing that you know they have done a lot of good over you know over over their life and they're, they're excited and they're, they're happy about that this would be the everlasting life ones where on the other hand those who have rejected the law and lived according to the flesh and according to the ways of the world uh, uh, um, having rejected the law will awake to everlasting contempt and so you can imagine this is going to be a big deal 
This is going to be a huge, a huge, huge deal when it does take place. Okay, but let's go on to verse three. He says, "And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever." Okay, now this this is why you see um, individuals working so hard to try to convince people of um, that righteousness is the that, that trying to convince people that we are supposed to obey the law let me just put it like that um, whereas you know we could just obey the law ourselves and uh, enjoy the benefits of, of you know what we get out of being obedient to the law there's all those who subject themselves to ridicule and humiliation to try to help others to understand how we're supposed to obey the law they get kicked out of churches, they get persecuted, get called names and all kinds of stuff. Um, you know, when when they stand up and try to teach righteousness to, to others, this is why they're doing that. This is what's going on here. When you see right there, he says, um, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever, these people get a benefit out of it they're going to get a benefit out of it and this is when they actually get this benefit when we go through this change when this temple is open when um this this, this period takes place right here it says and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament that's talking about all that actually keep the law though those you remember that book of um uh, Proverbs says that the beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord and to fear the Lord means to do what he says do you know to follow his his laws his statutes his commands his judgments uh, ordinances all of that you know mandates to actually do what he says do is what it means to fear the Lord and that is the beginning of wisdom so those that do that they're going to shine like the brightness of the firmament. They're going to shine bright, you know, in this time of trouble because they understand the rules. They know what they're supposed to be doing while the rest of the world is running around like chickens with their heads cut off, you know, to and fro, not knowing what to do, you know, talking about war is me. It is these individuals who have been obedient to the law the whole time that are going to, you know, be doing well they're going to be doing well at that time because that's what the law is for to help hum to help humanity understand what it is that so they're supposed what it is that they are supposed to be doing and then those that go on to teach others not only are they going to shine uh, as the brightness of the firmament but they are going to shine as the stars forever and ever and you know we learn in the third testament of the bible that each of the religions has something to offer um, you know growing up we were taught to reject other religions you know people you know Jehovah Witnesses talking about how they you know were going to inherit the earth or the uh, other groups talking about this and talking about that but what we learn in the in the third testament is that no actually each of these groups have something an important message each religion has a small part to give well this verse right here reminds me of the mormons the mormons teach that they are actually i don't know exactly what they teach but it has something to do with them and stars something like if i think they I don't know. We have to go look at what they teach. Somebody has to chime in. Something to do with planets. They get to rule over planets or be like stuff. I don't know. But I've heard it once, and this always reminds me of those guys because, um, you know, it makes it sound like, okay, well, what they were saying has some truth in it. You know, it has some, some truth in it, what they were saying. Um, um, shining like the, uh, um, like the stars forever and ever there. Um, so we'll look and see what they had to say. Maybe, maybe they actually did know what they were talking about. Talking about Daniel chapter 12. And now the thing about Daniel chapter 12 is this is one of 
or the main book that we know that this event is going to happen in 2020 is because of the timings that's given here in Daniel chapter 12. Now I've done several classes on those. You can um, check our channel to just put in In the Fight 2020 or something like that and you can see several classes we've done on that. And I still have a class to uh, give when he's talking about our time and times and half a time. What that actually means that's pointing to the Catholic Church and if you go in and look at um, the time from Constantine using 490 years as a time, you will see that they actually have rule for time, time and half a time. But we'll, but we'll save that for another class. Go ahead and hit that um, um, bell button down there or that subscribe button if you haven't done so, so you can get those classes when they come out. And you see down here in verses 11, if you don't get those, get to see those classes, you know, I know a lot of people don't actually jump over and watch any other classes. Um, you see right here in verse 11 where it talks about this 1,290 days. And then down here in verse 12, he talks about the 1,335 days. If you go back in the scripture and look when the daily sacrifice was taken away, I think it's in uh, 2 Kings. I'll probably throw a verse up there for you to look at to see when the uh, daily sacrifice was actually taken away. That was in 606 BC. And you start to add these years from 606 BC and you add these years, you actually end up with 2020. You end up in the year 2020. And that's what the excitement is about when people think about all of this stuff taking place in the year 2020 um, but the last verse I wanted to talk about here in Daniel is right here in verse 10 because this video is what will actually take place when this change happens the, the, the uh, subscriber asked the question well what's going to happen when the third temple opens well you see right here in verse 10 he says many shall be purified and made white and tried but the wicked shall do wickedly and none of the wicked shall understand but the wise shall understand now reading over here in the Septuagint it says uh, many must be tested and thoroughly whitened and tried with fire and sanctified but the transgressors shall transgress and none of the transgressors shall understand, but the wise shall understand. So when it's, so when the King James Version is talking about wicked over here, the, the um, Septuagint calls them transgressors, and it's talking about the transgressors of the law. The transgressors of the ones who are transgressing the, uh, the law now are going to transgress the law even more during that time. You, you remember that sometime between the time that the uh, first fruits go through this change and all of humanity go through this change there is the mark of the beast so you can imagine there's a whole lot of do wickedly going on during that time but it will be a time of purification um, a time where um, those that um, um, will inherit the earth will go through a purifying period we have to um, the stains on our spirit have to be cleansed away and we've done many classes on you know why we have to go through certain things down here on earth um, one one class that is pretty popular is one called purified by pain it kind of tells us why we have to go through certain things why we, people ask why do why does bad things happen to good people you know and it kind of answers those questions there's a reason why bad things happen to good people and this is why this is one of the reasons why as you see over here in Daniel chapter 12 is for the purifying of this of our spirits just just to make a long story short you, you can imagine all of the bad things that we've done in our life we have to make up for it um, 
if we plan on inheriting the earth we have to make up for it in the flesh now there are there are those who are planning to go away they're planning to fly away and they don't have to worry about purifying in the flesh they'll get purified in the spirit world um, and then they'll be reincarnated at a later date but those who don't plan on dying those who plan on living through the tribulation they're going to actually have to be purified in the flesh and so that's what it's talking about here where they have to they're going to have to be tried they're going to have to go through a lot a lot of stuff down here um but while they're going through that the wicked will be doing wickedly and none of those uh, transgressors will understand anything that i'm talking about you know they they all that all that i've talked about for the uh, last 30 minutes or so they're they're not going to get any of it so if you get any of any of what I'm talking about here um, you probably can consider yourself wise because it is those wise individuals that will understand anything that Daniel is talking about over here in chapter 12 all right so I hope you got something out of this class if you did go ahead and hit the like button if you didn't go ahead and hit the dislike button but leave us a comment either way as we try to hammer some of this stuff out we um this class was based on a comment that we got from a subscriber we do try to answer all of our comments and you know this is kind of the feedback that we need to to know what classes we should be putting out sometimes um most of the time we take our lead from the spirit um telling us what classes that we should be put out um, that we should be talking about but you know every once in a while we can look at subscribers and see the questions that they're asking and then you know produce a class based on that so please give our please give comments below uh, concerns corrections anything you want to talk about uh, please do so below and I'll get back soon with you and I'll get back with you as soon as I can all right oh and I told my wife I was gonna tell you guys and I might as well tell you before Close. You don't wait this long. Um, what did I say, Stacy? The American dream is over. The American dream is, is over. Um, I'm, <laughs> I just wanted to be the first one to tell you. Uh, again, hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell button. We got some classes coming out on the 400 years that was supposed to end in uh, 2019. Um, just think, COVID 2019. The American dream is over. Time to wake up.